Hey Scrappers, Tom from iScrap. Looks like someone threw out everything, including the kitchen sink. Ha ha ha. Well, a great item for scrapping, stainless steel sinks are something that you really want to hope have a couple of things left on them. First thing is the brass faucet. You'll be able to take a couple of screws, you'll be able to pop this thing off, and you're going to have a nice piece of brass that you can sell to your scrapyard. This piece weighs three pounds, so that means depending on the prices, you'll make anywhere from three to six bucks, depending where the market is, just for a taking a couple of screws off. Underneath, you're going to have a stainless steel hose. Sometimes there's two of these. Generally, there will be connecting to the hot and the cold water. Make sure you take the rubber gaskets off the sides and have no copper or brass attached, just clean stainless. You'll be able to throw this into your stainless bin. Next, you're going to have your stainless steel sink. We get a lot of questions about sinks, and one of the most common answers that we have is make sure you clean the stainless steel sink. This is a piece of steel that runs underneath the sink. It helps support it when it's attached to the countertop, but it's very difficult to take off. We have been able to see some people take a hammer and a chisel and chisel it off. Some people just don't have the time. Now this sink, we would say to chisel it off because you don't have any epoxy coating on it really. Just a little leftover glue which you'll be able to rub off or even take a belt sander and take it off so you can sell the stainless steel sink as a clean item. Make sure you take that steel off though because if you sell it to your scrapyard, you're going to be looking at a price probably 15% of what you should get. This is Tom from My Scrap. Make sure you take that stainless steel sink, brass apart too. Scrap you later.